start a podcast without recording anything. Stick around to know more. Hi, this is Anil Agarwal from marketingautomationfocus.com and today I'll tell you about an app that you can use to start a podcast without recording anything. You can also create audio for your blog or for your ebook generating audiobook. So today I'm talking about an app called Listener. So let's go to their homepage and see what they got. So right now it says start a podcast without recording anything. Nice. Okay, let's just see what you can do. So they have an AI voiceovers. They got 100 plus voices and they're adding more. And on this platform, you can use it for hosting and distribution of your audio anywhere with commercial broadcasting rights. Now, let's look at some of the features that they're saying on uh, their homepage. High quality human sounding voices, and they support 100 plus natural and human sounding voices in 22 plus languages and four plus dialects for all voices. Automatic RSS feed of your podcast. So that's interesting. Obviously, if they're going to support podcasting, then if you upload a new content, your RSS feed gets updated, which should be the case. And publish to any podcast hosting platform. So that's really nice. If you're into podcasting and if you want to use Listener to create your podcast episodes, then you would want to distribute to various platforms like Spotify, Google Podcast, and the like. And then you can also use social sharing uh, to Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. And then you can have custom podcast page. And then whatever audio that you create, whether it's a podcast or voiceover, you can actually embed them on your website or a landing page. Now let's look at the uh, some of the voices and I actually liked uh, so I'm gonna be using uh, English US and I looked at a whole bunch of them so I'm interested in male uh, human sounding voice and I found this Michael English US the best so let's look Let's listen to this. Hey Pitch Grounders, this is Michael from Listener. Hope you all are doing well. I am one of the five new English voices added to Listener. Why don't you try out a few more? So that's that's pretty good uh, sounding to me. And uh, let's let's look at the, what, what they got on their homepage. So this is nice. Uh, you can try uh, putting down up to 100 words and you can uh, create uh, an audio out of it. Uh, text to speech conversion um, free of charge and and uh, uh, see what you get uh, yourself you can try it out and there's some testimonials here and they got some blog posts so now let's go to uh, inside the app so here we are inside my account of listener dashboard it's very clean it's kind of plain vanilla but that's all you need I guess and um, it's, it's not that bad looking. It doesn't have to have uh, graphics of any kind. Uh, pretty much a uh, big plus here to start adding um, a, a podcast and on the right side create a voiceover. Now I must admit and say that my use case was in the beginning so I wasn't that much interested in podcasts. Now maybe I will. Maybe I create podcast episodes from my blog post or from my YouTube videos that I can bring in and as my podcast shows and then create a whole bunch of episodes for a specific show uh, for my podcast. I could do that. But I was really interested in text to speech uh, feature here, which is mostly create a voiceover. Now, at first I got confused a little bit Okay, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to convert my text, whether it's blog or whatever text I have, to uh, use it at podcast. Uh, so maybe I should uh, go that route. 
or I just need to convert it into audio. Um, so I was a little bit confused. So I chose, because I wasn't too sure that I'm ready to create my podcast show with all the details and commit to it, sort of. I mean, you don't have to, I guess. But at that point, when I started using it, that's what I was thinking. So anyways, I, I just went ahead and I said, okay, I'm just going to create a voiceover. And, and so that's what I did. And you could, you could click here and uh, uh, it takes you to a page and um, I, I don't know why it says generate text. Um, this is confusing to me. I'm not sure what it means, but basically you can assign a title and whatever text you have here, you can either type, uh, start typing, or you can copy and paste from anywhere where you have text that you want to convert and you select the languages and is going to um, have these options here and in my case I used English US and then it will give you a whole bunch of options so for me um, uh, I actually used uh, Michael Neural I think uh, for the one that but we can go back and, and check what I used and 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 the conversion process was extremely fast. So I had 2,000 words, and I think it took less than a minute, I think. Let's just go back to, so this one is my shows, and, and I don't have any shows as yet. Uh, we could try creating one um, as a process. It gives you, you can create a show name. Uh, author name is your name, I guess. And then enter show description. And you can have your show, your podcast show image, graphics that you different format that you can use and upload that image. And it, this is nice, you know, design on Canva or something. There's some link. I haven't tried that. And if your content is explicit, then you must turn this switch on. So that's pretty much, uh, that's pretty good there. Uh, so I'm not going to try this right now. Um, I'm not too much into um, podcast right now, but I'm going to, Come back later and maybe do another review of just focused on uh, how to create a podcast show using this app but it sounds very promising to me at the moment i'm not sure if there are any gotchas but the creator is uh, listening to uh, all um, his customers and and uh, taking feedback and also implementing um, uh, feature requests so I, I think it's promising, but let's go to uh, voiceovers. And since I do have uh, voiceovers, so it doesn't it doesn't do anything if you click on here. Uh, maybe this needs to improve. That when you click on this microphone icon, it should just simply take me to uh, a space, something like a show space, and just list my voiceovers and and give me option to create a new one. So let's just go to my voiceovers because it does give you new voiceover plus uh, whatever I created. Now one of the things is that this one, uh, this card shows listener and with it with the logo and not not too bad. I, I don't have to have my own logo right here so it doesn't matter but uh, it's something to think about uh, for improvement. And uh, one of the confusing part for me was that uh, after I created this, how do I actually get the uh, embed code? Uh, and I just, I said, edit doesn't make sense because I was there. And you can see that I had actually a blog post that um, uh, I pasted the text of the blog post pasted here. And I did some minor editing and then I just hit convert. Um, and the language, I would, since I had already created it, should have actually, um, it should have actually, I don't know why it's um, not saved. Um, so now it's showing, you know, it's it's got 1,200 words. And I don't need to convert because it's going to uh, use up my words again, uh, number of words. Uh, but one of the things I noticed that if you convert uh, once and then you find out that, oops, you know, maybe there was some minor edits that you need to do, like I had something at the end and I deleted that 
and then I didn't want in my audio and so obviously this tool right now doesn't have any audio editing built in as far as I know and so I just happened to edit it and I just hit convert but it used up uh, these many words again because it just simply recreated so even though it recreated and it was on top of the previous one I would think that it shouldn't use well uh, I guess I understand why I would use it because hey, you know, you're rerunning and it's reusing resources. So, uh, but I think it it there should be some way of uh, if you delete the uh, a text, it should uh, cut out the audio and that cut type of editing would be really good. So, but the speed of of conversion was surprisingly um, uh, very fast. So let's go back to my voiceover. So you can delete this, you can download the mp3 file and for the uh, embed code for the player you have to click that and so now it gives you this nice looking it's plain simple and I think the uh, developer is working on um, believe uh, I believe it's, it's um, you can actually customize your logo and a few other things and maybe the color for your branding one thing I noticed that even though it was dark um, I when I embedded the code uh, for the player it was just plain white and so I don't know how to customize uh, that one maybe it's the iframe code and uh, some CSS code or whatever that could be done but I would expect that this should stick whatever branding I you know you put over here and you take the embed code and that should be it and you know everything should follow and uh, the embed code is just simply one line and if you try to kind of just go it goes very fast so it's very difficult to kind of just if you wanted to change the I was I was trying to grab I was just trying to look at left so, so it scrolls really really fast so it's not user friendly here and I wanted to change this height and it doesn't allow if I type it doesn't allow me to change it here so I had to copy the code go into my blog editor and then uh, change this uh, height uh, I wanted to reduce the height because it was looking a little too high with too much space on the top and bottom so I edited that a little bit and I know it's obvious but this download should really say download mp3 or something like that or maybe just make a download uh, icon right on the player itself uh, for uh, the embedding and, and and or have a download button here as well so you can see that it was six minutes and 45 seconds this was uh, this converted um, text converted into six minutes 45 45 seconds in less than one minute I believe um, so that was surprising um, and uh, 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 very good so it's it's really nice uh, simple but I would really I think this area needs a lot of improvement um, this share uh, is I'm not sure what's happening here I I'm not sure what to do here uh, is there a share code um, not sure if I do this what happens I don't know what happened here so maybe either I don't know what maybe I can type whatever I want or it's it's a code that as soon as I click on this duplicate symbol here icon here that I will get um, I haven't checked that so uh, that's pretty much it uh, for now uh, but but I think the use case is, let me show you how it looks on my uh, blog post when I embed this player so here's my blog post that I converted into audio using listener uh, app with text-to-speech voiceover uh, feature and you can see down here that the uh, player the audio player is really nice and clean and simple uh, I like it and like I mentioned before that we will have uh, customizable player with uh, 
our own branding and logo and colors and stuff and maybe something like as I mentioned before uh, with um, downloading uh, option of, of the mp3 file of, of this audio so I've already embedded it and uh, uh, let me let me try playing this here why I switched from MailChimp to drip normally I don't write a review or comparison of a product or service my passion truly is to help people being more productive and be a great leader in whatever they do with that spirit I figured I write about my experience with so uh, I won't bore you with the whole um, audio here of six minutes, obviously, but um, as you can tell that it, it, it turned out pretty good. It, it would uh, give enough and good pause after comma, after, after period, and um, exclamation. And it also noticed that um, if I had this uh, leadershipfocushq.com, so it actually says that, not just you know stop with pause or calm or something so it actually reads it as if um, us humans uh, would read so uh, that that's pretty good so I was impressed with that and uh, that's pretty much it for now and uh, we'll talk to you guys later bye now